Hallelujah. You are welcome to the online morning devotion this morning in the name of Jesus. Please do well to share the link to your loved ones, your brothers and sisters. Bible declares in Jeremiah 33 verse 3, Call unto me, I will answer thee, and I will show you great and mighty things which thou knoweth not. For the great and mighty things God will do over your life, your business, your endeavors as you embark on your legitimate endeavors, we are the author of prayer this morning. Praise our voice to appreciate him. Lord, we thank you. We give all the glory. Be the exalted, be the glorified. Lord, we thank you. We give all the glory for speedy answers to our prayer this morning. As we embark on you on the prayer altar this morning, be the exalted, be the glorified. In Jesus' mighty name. Once again, I appreciate him. Hallelujah. Your voice and magnify the Lord as well. You've got times and seasons in your Come and see the Lord is good. 
Glory, give him honor and adoration. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus, who alone do us wondrous things. You may please be seated in God's presence. What I say to one, I say to all, Mark 13, 37. As you listen to the testimonies from this online morning devotion, same grace will answer to you in the name of Jesus. Testimony from Marvel, Anyehie, Nigeria. I had been seeking to regularize my admission for several months, diligently following every process. However, my new admission letter had not yet reached me, causing me to worry because my peers who applied when I did had received theirs. I was informed of the need for additional payment or to restart the process, but I resisted and prayed about it during the personal prayer sessions in the online morning devotion, reminding God of my commitment to his kingdom. Miraculously, without any payment, I received my admission letter. Hallelujah. Testimony from Somi Wood, Nigeria. Since I started to join the online morning devotion earlier this year, I have experienced a turnaround in my life, career, academics, business, and generally in everything I do. Indeed, God is the doer, and he has crowned my year with his goodness and fatness. Glory be to God. Testimony from Anita Frank, Canada. I have been joining the online morning devotion since its inception, and by God's grace, I have not missed a day. On June 29th, God's servant prophesied the release of what was due us. It was my birthday, and I asked God for a gift. Miraculously, the visa I applied for over a year ago was granted the very next day. At the entry point, entry airport, in Canada, I experienced supernatural favor by passing protocols in less than five minutes. Amazingly, all my expectations have been fulfilled, and I give glory to God alone. 
Testimony from Samson Ogene Lukome, Destiny, Nigeria. Ever since I became part of Salvation Ministries and dedicated myself to the online morning devotion, I have witnessed God's favor and faithfulness in my life. The majority of my requests on the July to December 2023 expectations form have been fulfilled, including good health and a successful academic session. Regarding our long abandoned building project, God has miraculously provided for his initiation. I return all the glory to God for his unwavering faithfulness. Same grace will answer to every one of us. Let's rise and give God all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name, this session we are going to God in prayers. In Psalm 19, verse 3. There is no speech, no language where their voice is not heard. You will thank God for causing the online morning devotion to be heard and accepted by multitudes across the nations of the earth. Raise your voice. I begin to appreciate him. Father, in the name of Jesus, this is the Lord's doing and it is marvelous in our eyes. Father, we say thank you for causing the online money devotion to be had and accepted by multitudes across the nations of the earth. The Lord has done great things for us. We are, off, we are glad. Father, we say thank you. Blessed be your name. Be that glorified in Jesus' mighty name. In Psalm 121 verse 8. The Lord shall preserve the going out and the coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. Father, I thank you for defending, protecting, and preserving me and my loved ones from all forms of evil this period. Raise your voice, I begin to appreciate him. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, it is written, There shall no evil before thee, neither shall any plague come near the dwelling, and thou will keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stay on thee, for thou trusted in thee. Lord, we say thank you for defending, protecting, and preserving the life of everyone connected to the online money devotion genuinely. Lord, we give you all the glory. The Lord shall preserve the going out and the coming in from this time forth and even forevermore be that glorified in jesus mighty name in revelation chapter 12 verse 11 and they overcame him by the blood of the lamp in psalm 11 verse 6 upon the wicked it shall rain snakes fire and brimstone and the honorable tempest by the blood of jesus christ you will destroy every evil program against the body of Christ as she celebrates this festive season. You will pray that all our adversaries be consumed by fire. Raise your voice. Pray in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, it is written, No weapon formed against thee shall prosper. There shall no evil happen to the just, and they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. By the blood of Jesus, we destroy every evil program against the body of Christ as she celebrates this festive season. For the thief cometh not, but for to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But for this purpose came Jesus, that he might destroy the works of the devil. Devil, set out the devil. Wherever you want to attack the body of Christ with any form of evil and majesty, fire outbreak. This first season and beyond, we come against your works right now in the name of Jesus. For God is a consuming fire. We pray that all our verses be consumed by the fire of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. In First Peter chapter 5, verse 8. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a rally lion, walking about, seeking whom he may devour. In Zechariah chapter 9, verse 14, and the Lord shall be seen over them, and his arrow shall go forth as the lightning. You will pray that you and your loved ones will never be victim of the devil attack this festive period and beyond. You will release the blood of Jesus as a weapon of defense against the devil and his cohorts. Raise your voice. Pray in the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. 
blood of Jesus. And when I see the blood, I will pass over thee. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. And the Lord shall be seen over them. And his arrow shall go forth as a lightning. In the name of Jesus, we pray that everyone connected to the online money devotion genuinely would ever be victim of the devil attack this festive period and beyond. Set up the devil. We are going to attack our life, our family, even as we travel, air, land, and sea. This first season and beyond, we come against our works right now. By the blood of Jesus Christ, we release the blood of Jesus as our weapon of defense against the devil and his cohorts in Jesus. Mighty name. In Luke chapter 22 verse 37, for the things concerning me have an end. You will command the storm of barrenness, failure, delay, disappointment, sickness, near success syndrome to come to an end in your life. Raise your voice, pray in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, it is written, and he arose and rebuked the wind and said unto the sea, Peace be still, and the wind ceased, and there was a great calm. We command the storm of barrenness, failure, delay, disappointment, sickness, near success syndrome, to come to an end. For surely there is an end. We declare peace on every side in Jesus' mighty name. In Hebrews chapter 13 verse 5, For he has said, I will never leave thee nor forsake thee. Lord, by all means, settle my case this year. Let your goodness speak in every aspect of my life and those of my loved ones. Raise your voice, pray in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, it is written, Now the Lord of peace himself give you peace by all means. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of our life. Lord, we pray by all means, settle the life of everyone connected to the online money devotion genuinely. This year, let your goodness speak in every aspect of our life and those of our loved ones in Jesus mighty name in Abacus chapter 1 verse 5 behold ye among the Israel and regard and wonder marvelously for I will walk a walk in your days which ye will not believe though it be told you Lord perform a wonder in my life family business career academics this year that will wipe all my tears and sorrows forever raise your voice pray in the name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus, it is written, the Lord shall proceed to do a marvelous work and the wonders among these people. Lord, we ask that you perform a wonder in our life, our family, our business, our career, academies, this year, that we wipe all our tears and sorrow forever in Jesus' mighty name. It is time for personal prayers. In Proverbs chapter 23 verse 18. For surely there is an end. And the expectations shall not be cut short. It is time to make your personal request known to God. Raise your voice. Pray in the name of Jesus.
In Jesus' mighty name, we shall be commanded the day open. In Psalm 16, verse 6, the lines are falling into me in pleasant places. Yea, I have a godly heritage. You will declare that lines would fall in pleasant places and all your today's blessings spring forth. Raise your voice, pray in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, and God said, and God said, and God saw, the Lord shall bless the righteous, and with favor, we need to pass him as we say, sheet. We command today, be open, that lines would fall in pleasant places, and all our today's blessings spring forth in Jesus' mighty name. In Exodus chapter 12, verse 13, and when I see the blood, I will pass over you. You will use the blood of Jesus as a seal of divine coverage over you and your loved ones as you step out today. Raise your voice, pray in the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. And when I see the blood, I will pass over thee. Blood of Jesus. Clear every evil program against our lives, our loved ones, and everyone connected to us genuinely. The blood of Jesus. Give us peace on every side. In Jesus' mighty name. Is a faithful God. Let's have to appreciate it. Praise the Lord. I appreciate the Almighty God for this awesome privilege to be the one that will bring a short chat this morning. I appreciate my father, papa. Thank you for this awesome privilege. Mama, I appreciate you. I appreciate everyone that have joined the online morning devotion this morning to be blessed. The God that you come to worship bless you in Jesus' name. Our short chat this morning is it is possible to end the year well. God's word declared in Luke chapter 18 verse 27. And he said, the things which are impossible with men are possible with God. So for all things, for with God, all things are possible. You will end this year well in the name of Jesus. With God, we will end this year well. You are healing, you are breakthrough, all your expectation year 2023 before the year come to an end, we will enter into your hand in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let's quickly look at some of the things we are going to do to end the year well and our desire to be made. Number one, you must be born again. All what we are saying, God blessing are for the children of God. God's word declare in John chapter 3 verse 3 be, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. For you to enjoy God blessing, you must be born again. Number two, locate the word of God in the area of your needs and challenge. Papa always says that the word of God that you believe is the one that will always answer to you. So you locate the word of God, the area of your challenge, and the word of God that you locate will always answer to your need in the name of Jesus. In the area of health, Matthew 8, 17, Papa always quoted when he has a health challenge, he quote that scripture and he believed in that scripture and he was healed. In the area of your breakthrough, Psalm 145 verse 16, that opened thy hand and satisfied the desire of every living thing. You go to the area of your need and locate the right scripture and I see God cause you to enter the year and end the year well in the name of Jesus. Number three, have faith in God and his word. The word of God that you have faith upon is the word of God that will bless you. Hebrew chapter 11 verse 6. Numbers chapter 23 verse 19. Number four, Lay a sacrifice. Lay a sacrifice. In John chapter 3 verse 16, God faced a challenge when the devil took the children from him. The almighty God have to lay a sacrifice to get all of us back as his children. As you lay a sacrifice, anything the devil have taken from you will come back to you in the name of Jesus. There was a break in Israel. David lay a sacrifice in 2 Samuel 24 verse 24 to 25. 
and the plague will stay in Israel. Any plague that is coming around your life as you lay sacrifice, I see the God of salvation ministry, the God of my master David Ibiomir, cause that plague to stay in the name of Jesus. Finally, number five, bold declaration. Papa always says that whatever is too heavy for your mouth to say, it will be too heavy for your hand to handle. So, Declare what you want to see. I cannot be sick. Papa always say, I can't be sick. I can't be poor. And he never fall into the hospital bed. And he never lack, always walk in abundance. As you declare what you want, I see the God of heaven answer you at the area of your need in the name of Jesus. This is the end of our church. Shall we rise on our feet and appreciate God? Father, we thank you. Give you praise. Blessed be your name forever in Jesus. All what we are saying here is for the children of God. If you have not given your life to Christ, please pray this prayer after me. Lord Jesus, I am a sinner. Forgive me all my sins. I accept you into my life as my Lord and personal Savior. Thank you for saving me. I am born again in Jesus' mighty name. If you have prayed that prayer with me, please go to the screen. There is instruction there. You follow and they will reach back to you. Make sure you invite people to join you in the online morning devotion. As you do, I see God bless you in Jesus' mighty name. With a clap offering, let's welcome our Father Papa to come and bless us with the prophetic. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. If you believe it's possible, it's possible. And if you doubt that it's possible, you also not get it. Because the things which are, are foreign, foreign enough, that was what I used to close yesterday. When I shared with you that it's a different level. Away from Mark 10 to the 7 and Mark 9 to the 3. This one is when you, you put God on the line and God himself do it, will do it for you. I guess that was what we use for the prophetic. Today is what he's speaking on. Never doubt what God can do. When he says it's not possible, you're saying God can't do it. That's just what you're saying. And there's no impossibility with God. Every time you say it is not possible, you're saying God can't do it and I don't believe it. Get these two words. Every day I say this thing is not possible. I'm saying, God, you can't do it, and I don't believe you can do it. So you are doubting God. God, it pains God when you doubt Him. It pleasures Him when you trust Him. How many believe that whatever God has said concerning you must come to pass? How do I know? From His preaching, hear yeah, what the Bible says in Psalm 67, verse 11. I know you know it, but now that's what the Scripture says. Psalm 65, verse 11. It's a dark crownness that year with thy goodness and thy part drop fatness. It's a thou crowness that year Psalm 65 verse 11. Thou crowness the year with thy goodness and it is the end of the year and thy part drop fatness. Do you believe that this scripture is possible? How many believe? Do you believe it? That's all he has preached. Do you believe that this scripture that you will end this year well? Do you believe? All right. I will only say you end this year well. That's all I will speak when the time comes. Let me just watch it for 30 seconds. See how far you brought us. Lord, we've got to worship you. See
Lift those hands to heaven. I decree and I declare in the name of Jesus. End the year 2023. Well, in the name of Jesus. God himself will crown this year with his goodness. And your part shall draw with fatness. This is God's word is fulfill your life. No tears, no sorrow. But peace. In Jesus name. The grace together, and the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit, rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. We shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Peace. God bless you. See you tomorrow.